asked him if he'd, co if he'd come to a meeting. And he said, no, it's choir practice. I didn't know you were in a church choir. He said, I'm not. I'm in an Eastwood College male voice choir. Come and listen to us. So I did, and I, from then on I was hooked. Been with us ever since, hasn't uh. I was formed from a germ of an idea in 1919, the autumn of 1919, when a group of colliery officials met in the Miners Institute uh, and just were chatting around a, a warm fire over a beer probably, and some bright spark actually said, why can't we have a male voice choir in Eastwood? You can imagine back in 1919 and 1920, when the choir was first formed, there were pretty turbulent years and the mining industry itself was going through some pretty turbulent times too. But the choir very quickly became one of those constants that allowed people to meet together on a regular basis and enjoy something other than work. Some would say we are living in turbulent times at the moment. But that one constant is there for a lot of the guys in the choir. They come along on Tuesday night. You know, you often hear people say, I nearly didn't bother coming tonight but within 10 minutes of starting to sing and being together, they realised why they came. It was as, just as if the whole choir had put their arms around you. Um, they, they, may, they, all, they always make you feel at home. Because I just enjoy the singing. I, I enjoy meeting the people on a weekly basis. And it's amazing that the sort of characters you come across in the choir, totally different to yourselves. I've always found it a really welcoming environment. People are appreciative of um, everybody's contribution and, and just keen to involve and encourage people and, and it's just a great environment in which people stand together. I could say 90% of it is camaraderie and the thing is with this choir you feel so much part of it that nothing interferes with Tuesday night. No. The choir it's now come to its 100 year anniversary Collier's managers that stood in front of the fire and talked about it as an idea and here we are a hundred years on. But we're very very lucky I mean we've uh, around about 50 members there's a lot of choirs dwindling away but we're not we're going forward. Of course it's not just about the past we very much want it to be a choir for the future because it's not a hundred years and that's it we want to go on and it, while ever people want to come and hear us and, and listen to us it gives the the choir a real sense of purpose. I mean, we, uh, if you like, fly the flag for Eastwood wherever we go. Last year we went to Braintree. Uh, we've, I've been going to Wales next year. We'll go down there and we'll do a decent job. It's, it's been wonderful and it's taken me to places that I never thought I'd ever go. I wouldn't change it for anything. And I says you'll never, and, you, and this is true, you know, if you ever sit in with this choir in general, you won't go away. If you can sing and you want to sing, you will not leave this choir. It's been going for a hundred years now, and I can't see that it's that it's going to fold up. You obviously get different people come and go, even the officials, the, the conductor, the companies come and go, but the choir carries on. You wouldn't believe how it all seems to work out and how we all come together, which that's what the music does. It's amazing. I've been part of the choir now for uh, over 10 years. I've been a member of the choir for 13 or 14 years now. 19 years then. I've sung with this choir approximately 27 years. Um, for the last 40 years. And I've been in the choir for 44 years. Uh, I've been in the in this choir, 49 years. 